We're following a developing story out of the White Mountains tonight. There was no school once again today for Blue Ridge School District students after threats of violence were made over the weekend. But that's just part of the story. Team 12's Bianca Bono joins us with the latest developments. Guys, classes canceled again at all schools in the Blue Ridge Unified School District due to more threats of violence. Today was supposed to be the first day back after threats caused schools to close last week. All of this comes after a brutal attack allegedly involving students at the high school. A quiet Blue Ridge High School campus for the third school day in a row. After closing last Thursday and Friday, the school district announcing Monday morning campuses would shut down again due to recurring threats made via email and posted to social media. Pine Top Lakeside Police teaming up with the FBI parked outside the school investigating, working with district leaders to come up with a plan. The chaos comes after a former student was brutally attacked the night of August 8th. According to Sholo Police, a 17-year-old girl asked the 19-year-old man to meet her at Sholo Lake only to have two other boys beat him so badly the victim had to be airlifted to a Phoenix hospital. Thankfully, family telling 12 News the victim is now back home recovering as the three suspects face aggravated assault charges. The incident sparking outrage in the community aimed at school leaders. Claims of lack of action and special treatment leading to protests and shutdowns. On Monday, Blue Ridge Superintendent Dr. Michael Wright announcing the three suspects have withdrawn from the high school. And people here in town are planning to gather around 7 o'clock tonight to pray for the community. The district announcing schools will reopen again tomorrow. And ultimately, the Navajo County Attorney's Office will determine what charges to bring forward and whether to charge these suspects as adults. We're in Lakeside. Bianca Bono, 12 News. Bianca, thank you.